What's good, y'all? And welcome back to a quick little devotional word. As you can see, I'm bundled up because it's cold outside. And even though my car was running, it seemed like as soon as I turned the car off, all the heat got sucked out. But anyways, I'm really excited for the word today. I'm gonna try and keep it brief. Um, so I'm gonna just dive right into it. About a week and a half ago, I was going through all my stuff. I'm um, just cleaning house, you know, get rid of the stuff that I, I hadn't worn or didn't use and just trying to, excuse me, clear it all out. But anyways, I stumbled across this box and it was a box of old coins. And I've had these coins for like two and a half years because my uncle passed two and a half years ago and my family was like, we don't know anything about these coins. We don't want anything to do with them. If you want them, go crazy. And I was like, bet. So I finally re-stumbled upon these and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually see if these are worth anything. So the next day I did a little bit of research, found out there's way too much information about coins out there and it was way over my head. So I, I just emailed a guy, an appraiser of coins and was like, hey, can I bring this by your shop sometime to get evaluated? And he was like, you know what? Just send me a bunch of pictures and I'll let you know if anything's worth anything. And I was like, bet, honestly, that's great. I can do that from the convenience of my own warm home. Um, so the next day I took a bunch of pictures of them and sent them in. He called me back two days later and just broke down all the coins I had and what they were worth and none of them were worth anything crazy but there was one coin in particular that stood out to me the first reason it stood out to me was because one it was way more valuable than I thought it was it was this small little gold token um and I looked on the internet and everybody was like it's not worth anything it's trash you can toss it you can keep it it doesn't have any worth it's counterfeit and I was like bet and almost threw it away but then the appraiser dude was like honestly this coin is worth like almost 20 bucks you should hold on to it and it's worth this because of this this and that and I was like dang that's really dope and the second reason I was shocked was because I had no idea where that coin was I had been looking for it all day and could not find it I found all the other coins like they were still in the box this one slipped out somehow and I'm like that's 20 bucks y'all I could really use 20 bucks so I'm looking around the, the house now I have a renewed uh renewed energy I need to find this coin so I'm I'm looking all through the living room I'm looking all through my bedroom and all of a sudden, what comes to mind is the parable of the lost coin. For those of you who don't know, the parable of the lost coin is a story that Jesus tells about a woman who has 10 coins, loses one, goes throughout her entire house finding it. When she finds it, she throws this big party, invites everybody over and rejoices because she found the coin, right? And this pops into my head and I'm like, God, are you telling me I'm gonna find the coin? <laughs> is that it? <laughs> Do I not have to worry anymore? Do I not have to stress? But no, the reason it popped into my head is because... I, I think about that little gold coin and I think about that internet forum. If I had listened to that internet forum, I would have thrown the coin away with zero hesitation. It's not worth anything. I wouldn't even taken the picture of it, right? Because I was like, why waste my time? But what these people saw as trash actually had a lot of value. But that value wasn't able to be seen until I what? Asked an expert, someone who knew coins right? Internet has so much knowledge, y'all, but at some point you got to ask an expert. And for a lot of us today, we're so good at attributing value to ourselves based on what other people think, what we think, our behaviors, our, um, when we fall short or our mistakes or our failures or our blemishes, or, or maybe we attribute values based on our successes and our accomplishments. We're really good at attributing value or value or worth to ourselves, and yet the reality is, is that I can only truly understand my value when I ask a professional, when I ask an appraiser, when I ask someone who, who knows me so intimately better than I will ever know myself. And we have that in God. The interesting thing about this parable is that there are 10 silver coins and the lady loses one. Now, for some people, maybe they just stop looking. There's a lot to be said about how much those silver coins were worth and people go back and forth on it. But I think the reality is, is that the value of that coin was not defined by the coin itself. It was defined by the woman. It was defined by the woman. What God was trying to tell us in that parable is that our value and our worth is not defined by my actions. It's not defined by my mistakes. It's not defined by my accomplishments. It's defined by who? God himself. And he defined that when he, what, came down, embodied human flesh in the form of Jesus Christ, died for our sins, died for all those things that keep me from having intimacy with the Father. Y'all, I have infinite worth now because of what Jesus did. My worth is not defined by anything less than what Jesus Christ did on the cross. And what he did cannot be quantified because I can never deserve it. I can never earn it. I was never worthy of it to begin with. And yet he saw me. He loved me. He desired me so much so that in the midst, the Bible says, while we were yet sinners, not when I got my act together, while we were yet sinners, 
Christ died. And yet, so many of us define our worth like that internet forum. How do you view you? How do you define your worth? Is it in your money, your job, your relationship? Is it, is it in your faults or your failures or, or your unworthiness? Is it in your accomplishments, your successes, your, your business, your family? How do you define your worth? Because the reality is, is that none of it is even comparable to the actual worth that you hold which is a worth and a value that makes the God of the universe, in spite of my the times I've sinned, spat in his face, the times I've turned my back, that he keeps pursuing me. And that when he finds me, he rejoices. That when I run to him, heaven has a celebration. This is God, the embodiment of, of perfection and holiness and righteousness. And yet, we're valuable to him. We have worth. That can be defined by nothing less than who he is and who he says we are. My encouragement to you this week is to just take a second and ask God, who do you say I am? How do you view me? You will be surprised, blown away by the value and the worth that you have. Not because of who we think ourselves to be, but because of who God sees us as and created us to be. The Bible says that in the beginning, he, he, he created us, he knew us, he formed us in and knit us together in our mother's womb, y'all. If anyone knows our worth, it's God. And he proved that to us by sending his son to die that we may be in him. Want to know what you're worth? Ask the appraiser, ask the expert, because anything less, man, That'll take you down some dark paths. I love y'all. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Man, you guys are amazing. You're priceless because God says so. It's not because of me. It's not because of what you do, but it's because God says so. Run to him. Come to him with your burdens, your frustrations, with your excitement, with your joy, because he desires to be with you and to have you remain in him because in him is the fullness of life and him is the fullness of joy and in him is the fullness of us. Love y'all. God bless. Have a good week and stay warm. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>